Hey guys, uh, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to show you my latest wireless director's monitor setup that I kind of almost stumbled upon uh, by accident while reviewing two different pieces of, of gear. So this whole system basically consists of uh, the monitor uh, which is by port keys it's the hs 17 uh, model uh, and then the wireless actual system is from hollyland it's the hollyland cosmo c1 uh, and together i found that these two things work really beautifully they make a nice compact easy to use wireless uh, director's monitor with actually a very very low latency uh, which means that you can actually use it for pulling focus. So first, let me talk about the, the monitor. So this is one of the newer monitors from PortKeys. Uh, it's a seven inch display. It's not the, one of the brightest monitors that they've made. Uh, it's uh, 1200 nits, so it's still plenty bright for most outdoor situations. It's definitely bright enough if you're gonna use it on a cloudy days or inside a studio. What's really good about this monitor is its build quality and all the features that it packs in into a relatively inexpensive monitor. So right now this monitor retails for around $400. Actually this whole kit, if you were to get it with the wireless video, uh, it's gonna get, right now cost you around $1,300. But of course, as always, uh, check out the links in the description for the latest prices and the different places where you can get it. Uh, but like I said, it's a uh, you know, monitor that's solidly built from uh, aluminum. Uh, so it's very sturdy, has nice fans all around. Uh, has a nice quality display, has actually tempered glass that can be replaced in case that it did get damaged, but it's there to basically protect the actual you know, uh, LCD. The monitor itself has uh, both HDMI and SDI inputs and outputs, so you can loop the signals. There's also a headphone jack out at the bottom, uh, along with a DC power in connection. On the top of the monitor, you have uh, the menu dial, uh, that allows you to quickly go through the menu settings and adjust uh, anything you might want to do. Also, you have a dedicated input button so you can switch between the SDI and HDMI connections. Uh, and then you have the four customizable buttons uh, that you can assign to, to trigger any functionality that you want on the monitor. Uh, right now I have, for example, my uh, here audio monitors. Uh, one button is for the focus speaking, full scholar, and then also here I have the uh, Luma waveform monitor. So you have all those things. You also have a vector scope built into it, uh, a histogram, all the other tools that you want, different uh, anamorphic viewing modes. Uh, also another thing I like about the monitor is that you can load in different LUTs. So actually right now I have a LUT that the monitor is applying. And this is obviously gonna be helpful with when you're working with any camera that doesn't allow you to actually export and an image that with the proper basically color or LUT applied to it uh, over the HDMI signal. So uh, cameras such as the one I'm using right now with this, which is the Zcam, uh, it doesn't allow you to do that with, with some of the higher you know, resolutions and things like that. So it's just nice to have the ability to apply the LUT right in the camera. Uh, and otherwise, you know, it's a solidly built monitor and in the back here, it has the, um, uh, two Sony NPF style battery plates and they're hot swappable. So the cool thing is, like I said, if you're running low on one battery, you can take it out, it will still be powered by the other and then you know, put in another fresh battery. Now the next really cool feature is uh, the fact that they have a built-in Sony NPF, basically battery adapter, you could say, that will allow you to put in your wireless video system that uses Sony NPF uh, batteries. And that works perfectly with the Hollyland Cosmo C1 wireless video system that I have up here, uh, which means that now with the simple basically handle that you can get from port keys, I have a relatively small, uh, you could say kind of a monitor and uh, director's monitor that's portable, uh, easy to handle, it's very light, and at the same time, and uh, kind of an easy and clean setup. And that's all, again, thanks to the fact that, as you can see here, I can attach here this uh, you know, wireless uh, transmitter uh, on the back of the monitor and that means that if you for example have your uh, especially like one of these larger sony npf style batteries uh, you can put that here on the back of the monitor and that will actually power both the monitor and your wireless uh, basically transmitter so obviously you can use any other wireless video system as long as it uses sony npf style batteries and another cool thing about this is also that you don't need again that many batteries you just have one battery for your monitor 
one battery for your transmitter. And now let's look at the actual wireless video system. So here's the transmitter, here's the receiver. Uh, they're again very solidly built, uh, just like the, the monitor from Port Keys. Uh, and they're fairly small, uh, you know, especially when you compare it to some of the other wireless video systems on the market that are capable to transmit a 1080p signal uh, up to 60 frames per second and they work at a, up to a thousand uh, feet uh, basically of, of distance between the, the transmitter and the receiver open line of sight. Now I actually did do an outdoor long range test just because I was kind of curious for myself even though I know most of the time I would never need a, a wireless video system to work at such a long distance. Uh, but anyways, let me show you that right now. So now I'm gonna do the long range test. So I'm gonna be walking all the way back there uh, and, uh, and I'll be able to see what's happening here because I have my monitor and the receiver up here. And I also have a GoPro camera so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Uh, my little assistant here, my son, he's gonna help, right? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna help entertain you guys because he's gonna be, uh, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna put on a show, I guess, and I'll be able to watch that. Entertain everybody on the camera and I'll be able to watch you here too, okay? Okay. Make sure nobody steals the camera too, okay? Okay. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> my son's putting in a show all right so i'm uh, right now at <laughs> 200 feet and i can see the signal perfectly there's uh, no cutouts and it's nice and sharp uh, so i'm gonna keep on walking all right <laughs> i see my son still jumping around and uh and yeah the signal looks really good still They're, like the quality hasn't degraded and it's not getting choppy so that's good all right, here I am. I'm at a little bit past 300 feet. I'm gonna keep on walking. Now I'm at 400 feet. So here, me waving, but I'm kind of out of focus and really, really tiny. So anyways, so I'll keep on walking because the signal's still really good. All right, I reached 500 feet. It's still uh, open line of sight. I can see myself there in the corner, right there, very tiny. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the signal is still good. I can see my sound moving, so I'll keep on walking even further. Okay, I'm at a thousand feet, but uh, okay, now the car got out of the way because for a moment the car was in the way. So now the car got out of the way and okay, I'm getting a clear signal now. Although while I was walking, basically when I was turned and the uh, receiver, see, when it goes through my body, then it loses the signal. As soon as I rotate, it acquires the signal so basically yeah it is it works up to a thousand feet uh, but open line of sight really like if i again if i turn around yep look it cuts out the signal again so you really do want to have open line of sight at a thousand feet anyways i'm going to be heading back now all right so i'm back and uh my son is tired of doing the show but although he did a good job i think let me know guys in the comments below what you think of my son's show the reason why the show ended suddenly is because uh, a bee came in and ruined his his performance. So he had to run and hide. That's what he told me. Uh, but otherwise, I think he did a really good job. <laughs> and also, what I do like about this system is that the antennas, both on the transmitter and the receivers, they're flexible. So you can adjust the angles. For example, like with these linear antennas, you really want to have them kind of you know pointing up. So even if, let's say if you have your monitor down like this, which this is how I prefer to hold the monitor a lot of times, uh, you can just adjust the angles of these antennas very easily. So it's kind of cool. So you're always still getting the right kind of angle because if you're going really long distance and those antennas are always pointing up, but your monitor is this way, you're going to start noticing the signal kind of, you know, the quality is not going to be as good. Another thing I also tested out was the latency. Uh, to see whether it was again fast enough so that it could be used uh, for focus pulling for example and as you can see from my test outdoor here the latency actually is very minimal it's uh, it's very close to the advertised 40 millisecond uh, latency in my test up here when the camera was set to shoot at 24 frames per second uh, i was getting a, about a two frame delay now as far as the actual build quality and design of this wireless video system uh, you have a little here display, uh, you have a little dial that allows you to kind of navigate through the different settings, which I haven't had to do because the system pretty much whenever you power it and turn it on, it just kind of links up and it works. Uh, it's actually a five gigahertz or works in the five gigahertz spectrum. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why it allows it to work at such a long distance and with uh, fairly low latency. Uh, you know, also they give you um, a USB-C connection here 
and uh, that can be actually used to both power, for example, the transmitters and, and, the, and the receivers, uh, but you can also, if you want to, you can actually connect uh, the receiver using the USB-C to your computer and then you can actually use this to stream basically the video over internet or let's say if you're doing you know Facebook or YouTube live things like that so that's actually another cool built-in function in this uh, otherwise you know kind of straightforward on this side you have your video input so you have your uh, HDMI it's a full-size HDMI connection and then you have SDI you also have a um, uh, 6 to 16 volt uh, power connection uh, and then, like I said, you can also power it using the either the Sony NPF style battery or the USB-C here connection. Um, so that's what you're gonna get. As far as here on the transmitter side, uh, you have your six to 16 volt DC connection, uh, and then you have the USB-C connection. So you can also power it using USB-C. You have the exact same screen, the dial and the on-off switch. Uh, there's a little vent here on the top. One thing I do really like about um, the transmitter is that they give you this sort of a little mount, it's a Hachu mount, and then they give you another one that you can use for like a magic arm. Uh, but the cool thing about this mount is that, like this one for example, is that it allows you to mount the transmitter sort of this way, and especially when you're working with like smaller cameras, uh, you know, that for example might just have a Colchu mount or a Hachu mount on top of the camera, and they don't have, let's say, a camera cage or anything like that. Well, you can use this to sort of attach the transmitter and it still keeps your, your camera package relatively small, compact, um, and just basically makes it easier to work with. Uh, you'll notice I have these two um, sort of mushroom antennas. They actually come included with this kit and they give you two other sort of you know, regular antennas like the one you see here on the receiver. Um, and these antennas are supposed to be better so that, for example, if you're not open line of sight, uh, and you let's see, you know, kind of bouncing the signal around. It's just going to get uh, better, better signal basically transmission. Um, but again, so you can use this, or you can use the standard antennas. And yeah, otherwise, it's kind of a again very straightforward system, nicely built. And to be honest, uh, I've actually been using this system right now whenever I'm doing these uh, reviews and tutorials. So I can always basically have the monitor right here on the desk, and I can kind of see. Is my shot okay so i'm kind of right now basically you could say filming blind because i can't really see what the camera is recording right now uh, so uh, as soon as i'm done shooting this video i'm going to put the transmitter back on the camera and then i'll be able to use the again the monitor to actually monitor the shot so uh, anyways this is my again my latest wireless director's monitor which which has a nice long range of up to a thousand feet low latency and it has a professional monitor that allows you to uh, you know properly expose your shots uh, you know make sure you're in focus and, and view the colors and everything properly so uh, as always if you guys want more information about all the different pieces where you can get them and find out the latest prices check out the description uh, and uh, you'll find all the links there or even better head on over to my website at tomantasfilms.com and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter so you're staying up to date with any future posts that I might have up there. Anyways, once again, my name is Tom and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.